They're after the place. It's... They don't know why. They just remember. Remember that they want to be in here. What the hell are they? They're us, that's all. There's no more room in hell. What? Granddad was a priest in Trinidad. He used to tell us, when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Zombies have been a permanent fixture in horror since the 1930s and has continued to make its mark throughout the decades. Before George A. Romero's cult classic Night of the Living Dead, zombies were none other than a person in a state of mind control and used somewhat as a slave. Like Bela Lugosi's White Zombie when he uses voodoo magic to enslave a woman as his bride. But George A. Romero found the idea of a person suddenly turning into a mindless and soulless monster was really the biggest fear of all. Zombies, to me, were, you know, those boys in the Caribbean who, you know, do the wet work for Lugosi. And I thought I was creating a completely new monster. You know, the neighbors suddenly turned into flesh eaters, ghouls, and uh, that's what I called them, ghouls, in the film. And I thought they were completely new. Thus, the modern zombie was created. Since Romero's depiction of zombies and the mistake of leaving out the copyright logo in the original film, many filmmakers were able to use this new form of monsters to explore new themes. Zombies became a worldwide phenomenon with films made from all over the world and has continued to increase in popularity. But why has this form of horror continued to stay relevant for so long when compared to other subgenres of horror? In the early 20s, we've seen the rise of Universal's classic horror icons like Dracula, Frankenstein, The Wolfman, The Mummy, and others. Then in the 50s, the aliens and giant monsters rule the industry. In the 60s, we began to see satanic and cult-like threats striking fear into the audiences. And finally, the dawn of the slasher films were born. But by the 70s, we saw George A. Romero's follow-up to his first zombie flick. Dawn of the dead. In this film, he used the zombies as a metaphorical mirror held up as a reflection of how society has almost become zombie-like, as we are controlled by consumerism. Almost as if he's taken the zombie mythos full circle to its roots of mind control. It was a powerful critique on the state of humanity. Because of this film, it was here where filmmakers truly understood the versatility of the zombie genre. Zombies can be used as hyperboles to demonstrate a threat to humanity, such as the way they were used in Game of Thrones. In this film, we can draw comparisons to our current real-life problem of climate change and how we can't all seem to agree with how to handle it or if it's even real. Zombies have also been used to depict epidemics and a crumbling of an entire civilization. What happens if there is no more order left in the world? But filmmaking, critique on humanity, and philosophy aside, there's an entertaining and, to a certain extent, an enjoyable fun side to zombies. The invasion of zombies in video games has been monumental with countless games out there to immerse yourself into. In a sick and twisted way, zombies have become the perfect excuse for committing horrific acts of violence on beings that resemble humans, that resemble us. When going to war with another country, the enemy must first be dehumanized and what better dehumanization than fighting a horde of zombies? It allows for us to tap into our most primal sides and unleash our aggression, all while feeling guilt-free. There is just so many ways zombies can be used to tell compelling, thought-provoking, and entertaining stories. And that's why zombies will continue to be a worldwide fascination. 
Zombies are a perfect reflection of our worst side of humanity. Hey guys, Brian here, and I just wanted to thank you all for checking out my video on zombies. This is the Halloween themed video for the month of October here on the Tribute This channel. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video at the bottom, leave a comment in the comment section, and share this video with some friends. I'm going to try to get videos out as frequently as possible, but this time of year is going to be a little tough for me, but I will do my best. Once again, guys, thank you for checking out this video, and I'll see you all next time on Tribute This.